Just hypocritical. You just leave certain things out, it's just durability. So that's crazy what's going on here, Marcus? This is a good thing, because the state does not make mistakes. Build them. Frau von der Leyen stands there with the heads of state and lets herself be celebrated. Germany, of course, is not in it, but everyone else is in it, and say, by 2050, we will triple it. Triple it. Maybe we'll take it again. I saw such a video from Scholz again today. Yes, if we were to build a nuclear power plant now, it would cost us 20 billion euros, and because we can't connect the old ones to the grid. Then you see an operator, they played in there afterwards, an operator who still owns the shit, yes, we can already do that. We just need the political okay. So even here we would be lying, and that's just honest. That was also the discussion of the Greens. Yes, you always say the Greens have turned that off. That's not true at all. The Sidhu. Yes, the Sidhu was so stupid with Mrs. Merkel at the time, because they won the elections in Baden-Württemberg. That's all true. I don't deny everything at all. But we were still in a completely different situation, where electricity was in short supply, there was an ass tax. And we just barely had electricity. You can't do that in time. Yes, but we extended it then. Things would have to keep going until the market calms down and we have enough other alternatives. This is a logical consequence of the whole number. That annoys me and that is... Yes, with this intro, welcome to this new video in which we look at Farmer Dai and his colleagues, who are covering all the lies of Scholz and Habak around the discussion of nuclear power, energy transition, biogas, etc. PP. Unmask. In that sense, we start right in, but I warn you at this point, it's really hard Toba. I see that the same way as you do. That is, it's exhausting. That's the discussion. But we have to have a discussion. We have to show people that there are other possibilities, there are options. And that not everything we are told is quite so true. And it is exactly the same with us as it is told here in Lower Saxony. We have already produced over 100% of our electricity through renewables. Yes, that still had to be explained to everyone, how often that has to be explained. I'm not saying that's quite true, because in terms of quantity, yes, I also produce four to five times what I consume per year with my PV systems here. But it's not there when I need it. Do you understand? That's the problem. And this. But how many Marcus do not understand it and always read the headlines probably Ard and Ender. And I have no idea where that is over it and that's but then, that's what people believe then. We just need more, we just need more. No, that's not possible. Because as I said, 3 million times zero is still this stupid zero. And that's just so dishonest. And we pay, we pay. It's not just monetary. I also think it's dishonest to say that all this is climate neutral and sustainable and something like that. As I said, there are, now some will arrive, yes nuclear power plants, repositories and something like that. Some have also written, there will be techniques at some point that we can get the half-life down to 100 years with the fuel rods. I also firmly assume that this will definitely be possible in the next 15, 20 years. And now, the new nuclear power plants that you were talking about, that everyone else is building, right? Each other, the African states, Asian states, American states, all are building the Frau von der Leyen stands there with the heads of state and lets herself be celebrated. Germany, of course, is not in it, but everyone else is in it, and say, by 2050, we will triple it. Triple it. And all the other Greens applaud everyone all over the world, and say hey no matter, we'll save Kotuo. Yes, that's right, we do too. But not with us, and it's just that this whole discussion is too dishonest. And, as I said, there are no solutions for the rotor blades of wind turbines and stuff like that. The Fraunhofer Institute is researching this, a few parts are mixed in with concrete, but still they do not exist. Forests are being cut down, and not a little is being cut down. It will be sealed without end. Maybe we'll take it again, I saw such a video from Scholz again today, yes, if we were to build a nuclear power plant now. It would cost us 20 billion euros, and because we can't connect the old ones to the grid. Then you see an operator, they played in there afterwards, an operator who still owns the shit, yes, we can already do that. We just need the political okay. So even here we would be lying, and this is simply unbearable. That was also the discussion of the Greens. Yes, you always say the Greens have turned that off. That's not true at all. The Sidhu. Yes, the Sidhu was so stupid with Mrs. Merkel at the time, because they won the elections in Baden-Württemberg. That's all true, don't deny it all. But we were still in a completely different situation, where electricity was in short supply, a tax was. And we just barely had electricity, since you can't do that in time. Yes, but we extended it then. 
Yes, things would have to go on until the market calms down, and we have enough other alternatives. This is a logical consequence of the whole number. That annoys me and that's just hypocritical. You just leave certain things out. There are always only truths. So that's crazy what's going on here, Marcus. Yes, now I would like to look with you at another excerpt from the livestream of Landworthy and his colleague, in which it is about the fact that Habeck has brought the argument, and this is not a joke, that biogas would not be good, because then there would be a lack of food or feed as opportunity costs. At the same time, he is promoting or advocating for open space photovoltaics where agricultural land is sealed with photovoltaics. So, almost the same opportunity costs arise, only over several years. So again, a typical mistake of Habak's thinking, and furthermore. They also talk about the catastrophic planning security, or the planning uncertainty, and the authorities, who themselves have no plan at all. Yes, in the sense that I don't want to subject you to torture any longer, Let's take a look at the corresponding scene now. This Bioga's story, because she appears in the video together with Habeck, and they say so yes, no. We don't want Bioga's because of avoidance, and there should still be land for food production, and of course for nature as well. And, that's why. Let's get space quiet. That's why people always get hung up, because that's the way it is. I also made my first April fans today, and in the end, all this is not honest either. But I didn't get an answer. I didn't get an answer. And I also said, I also need a little bit of someone who is behind my back with my ideas I just have. It costs money, I just can't talk about it yet. But I can only say that I applied for a biogas plant, and maybe it will work out. But I also need planning security, or we do. That is, yes, that's where I miss it. That's the be-all and end-all for planning security. We need planning, not planning and planning security. And we can somehow manage everything else. Reliability, yes. Just say, come on, companies, entrepreneurs, you do. You do it. If you've managed to do it for the last 80 years, he'll still be able to do it now. But if you just say all the time, because that's not possible, that's not possible, and here's not, and there's not, and I don't know, and so on. You don't get an answer to that and all that. That's usually the case sometimes. No one will get an answer. You ask what? You don't get an answer. May I do that? I don't know. Yes, who knows then? Yes, I don't know either. You are already calling the specialist authority. It is the same with us in agriculture. You call it the farm, arrived. Yes, what is now? Am I allowed to do this or not? When can I get on it? Yes, I don't know either. Yeah, we're supposed to know that if you don't know that. This is absurd. And that's not how things are going in Germany right now. Yes, with this intro, welcome to this new video in which we look at farmer Dai and his colleagues, who expose all the lies of Scholz and Habeck around the discussion of nuclear power, energy transition, biogas, etc. PP. In that sense, we start right in, but I warn you before at this point, it's really hard Tobuk.